Daikon, Daikon, Daikon. Yes, Daikon. <laughs> That's what the girl told him when she entered into his trailer. Like, she didn't ask any questions. She just, yes, Daikon. But, guys, this episode, oh my gosh. It was like a schlongdong fest. <laughs> or feast, shall I say. I ain't seen more schlongdong I mean, listen, it was overkill, right? But Daikon, let's get back to Daikon because, but listen, let me excuse my under 21 year old subscribers and viewers because this is not the video for you. It's not, it's really not. But let me just say this, Daikon, he had to get Ruth back. He had to pay her back some way somehow he is so in love with this woman let me tell you what happened i know that this is late night and it's in the morning oh well when you see the little red light on my videos you already know what it is right so let me get to it ruth tried to encourage daikon to come to breakfast you know come and eat because the women cannot eat until the men eat Right? She said, well, there are a lot of pregnant women out here. You know, you should come on and eat. You know, we have to eat our food. And then she goes, there are a lot of pregnant women here, right? So, and including me. And of course, he doesn't believe that she's pregnant. And she goes, well, you need to go and talk to Elder Mother, right? But anyway, let's get to the good part. Because <laughs> this is what I got on here to tell you guys. He called in this woman, like this girl from just come here. You know, just girl, come here. Like, so he called her inside the trailer because Ruth was getting fresh with him. She was, you know, had the smart mouth, right? Just getting smart with him like she always does. So he called the girl into the trailer and he just said, you know, take off your clothes. Just like that. And she said, yes, Daikon. You know, so at that point, Ruth, she already know what's up. She already know that Daikon is going to get her back. And he told her, well, she told him, you know, um, well, you are turned on when you see me sleeping with the highest. You know, it turns you on. And then he goes, yeah, I was turned on, but I was turned on by him and not by you. Those are lies, right? <laughs> we all know that. And um, he goes, well, you know, you think you're doing something. You know, you think you're special. Let me show you something. So he called the girl in there and he said, take off your clothes. And she took off her clothes. She disrobed. You know, literally, she took the robe off, took off her bra and panties, and she slid in the bed. <laughs> right? And so, Daikon, he grabbed her by her neck, and then he said, you know, don't take your eyes off of her. You know, so he wants the girl to look at Ruth, and he's going to look at Ruth while he's screwing the girl from the back. Dog style. Yeah. <laughs> All of that. Right. And, you know, listen, the, the, the thing that surprised me on this one is that Daikon did not have on a prosthetic. No, he didn't. He didn't have it on. This is him. All him. Right. So, so. And when they were in that trailer, like when they were in the chair, I could have sworn that that was a prosthetic. But it ain't. That's Daikon, y'all. Yeah, that's Daikon. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I mean, you can tell, like, if it was a prosthetic, it was a very, very good one. Like, they did a really good job on it, you know, because I zoomed in, <laughs> you know, for research purposes. I had to look, right? Had to rewind it, you know, a couple of times, you know, because they were quick, you know, it was a really quick, quick session, right? Because Ruth, she couldn't take it anymore. She tried to run. She tried to go out of the trail. And he was like, no, you get back here. You know, you're going to watch this. You're going to watch me give it to her, right? And he got up and, uh, well, she tried to leave. And then he, he, he got off the girl. And then she pushed Daikon down. And that was the end. You know, she told the girl, you get out of here. You get out of here now. And I guess the girl wasn't getting dressed fast enough because Ruth was really trying to get her out of there. Then, you know, they you know exchanged words again. And um, she spit in his face. And then she hit him with a frying pan because he threatened to put her head through the window. All kinds of stuff, right? But I'm skipping parts here, you guys, because I'm going to save, you know, most of it for my full episode breakdown. But this scene was really, really 
uh, interesting <laughs> to say the least and when they got finished um you know she was kissing on him you know she pulled him in and then she kissed him right and then he pulled away from her and then she pulled him in again and then he started to get all into it like yeah you know this is hot and then you know she pushed him off so it's just kind of like tit for tit you know i cannot wait until they do it again because <laughs> because it's so much tension that's building up between between these two like it's very intense right and i just wish it would just go ahead and get it over with you know so that they can be okay you know in each other's presence because right now it's just like all over the place but i love it i love it love it love it this is the only love story that we have to grasp onto uh, on ruthless so we just we better hang on to it for dear life and embrace it <laughs> because this is all they're giving us as far as love is concerned between a man and a woman so anyway i hope you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up you know i'd appreciate it and if you're a fan of tyler perry's ruthless stay tuned for my full episode breakdown later on today and if you're still here go ahead and sub to the channel right for more videos just like this one thank you so much for joining me you guys and i'll see you on the next one